I recently went to a 1920s themed party and I did some DIY tricks to my costume. In this video, I want to share with you some simple ideas which you can use to create your own flapper look. First, I'm going to start with the dress. I already had this vintage looking dress in my closet that I never wear, so I kind of lucked out in this area. It already has a 20s vibe to it, but I really think if you add fringe to any dress, it can have a 20s look. So I got two yards of this black fringe from the fabric store to glue onto the bottom of my dress. I glued it to the inside of the dress so the top part of the fringe wouldn't show, and I used a strong glue, which you can find more details on in the description below. And this glue is so strong that it can irritate skin, so I'm just protecting my hands here. Or if you have a sewing machine, go for that. I don't have one, so glue it is. And do not use super glue on fabric. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to fill in the little gaps with a little dab of super glue and it turns the fabric white. So don't make the same mistake I did. Don't use super glue. After lining the entire bottom hem with fringe, I cut the excess off and let the glue dry about eight hours. Then remove that little bit that comes on the end of the fringe. And you wanna do it carefully so that you don't unravel the bottom of the fringe threads and you want to do it just like a little chunk at a time. It's easier to get off that way. I really think it adds a nice touch of movement to your dress, especially when you're walking or dancing. And for the shoes, I'm wearing these Mary Jane style heels. For the headband, I'm using this one that I found on sale and I couldn't resist, but if you want to make your own, you can look at the construction of this and it looks actually pretty easy to make with just some elastic band, felt, and some material. You can add some sparkly sequins or beads to the front. I'm going to make my own accent piece to clip onto the end of the headband, and the base of it will be this regular hair clip and a small piece of fabric which I will glue onto the clip. I'm using these two peacock feathers which I found at the craft store, and I knew there was a way to fit Karen's grandma buttons into this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out this video here. I had an idea of what I wanted this piece to look like, but I didn't make one beforehand, so this is totally improvised. I loosely based the size of the fabric piece around this one button and cut it out. Then glued the peacock feathers onto it with hot glue. And to add another decorative element to it, I took the leftover fringe I had and cut two pieces. Then twisted the fringe glue one end on, and just looped it in the direction that the twist wanted to go, then glued on the other end, and did the same thing with the other piece. There is no right or wrong to this, I kind of just let the fringe twist the way it wanted to, and then glued it on, and glued on any pieces that came undone. For the finishing touch, I glued on that button in the middle, and then cut off a couple of these Mardi Gras beads, and glued those on to the sides of the button. Then turned it over and glued my clip onto the back. Now this piece is ready to go onto the side of my headband. I wanted a long bead necklace to go along with this look, so I made my own with some Mardi Gras beads. To make one really long necklace, I cut two of the necklaces and glued the ends together with really strong glue. I let them dry on top of a piece of scrap paper because you'll see the glue kind of drips down. After the glue dried, I just looped it around once and tied a knot on the end. Finger waves were really popular in the 20s, and I'll show you a simple technique I used to add these to my hairstyle. See Lemon is in the bathroom mirror! <laughs> I usually don't do beauty tutorials, but here I am. If you want some flapper makeup inspiration, definitely check out my Pinterest board link in the description below. So I'm starting with pretty messy hair and I'm just going to curl all of it. This way it's easier to manage when I'm doing an updo. Everyone has their own way of curling their own hair. I just start from the bottom on each side and work my way up. Now for the finger wave portion, I'm focusing on curling the front pieces of my hair, making those really curly. And my hair tends to get frizzy so I'm just putting a little wax product on it. Now to make the finger wave shape, take a comb and slowly run it through that piece. You'll start to see this S shape kind of form and you want to hold that with clips. 
Where the curl goes in, you want to put the clip in that direction, and where the curl goes out, put it in the opposite direction. So these duckbill clips are holding this wave. Then spray that baby in place, and do the exact same thing on the other side. Hold that in place, but, you know, go easy on the hairspray. When you take the clips out, you'll have these vintage looking waves. And now I'm just going to wrap my hair on one side into a bun. Then add the headband on top, and I'm just going to put the elastic band part underneath the bun. Then clip on the feathers to the side of the headband. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you dress up as a flapper for Halloween, I would love to see pictures, so go ahead and share those on my social links. For more DIY projects, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel, Sea Lemon. For some other Halloween videos, check out these here, and you can also find the links in the video description below. This is the first time I've ever dressed up as anything from the 20s. I've been a hippie before. I'm curious, what is your favorite decade to dress up as? Do you like dressing up as a hippie as well, or maybe the 70s disco or 80s? Let me know in the comments below.